Turkey is delicious, and in America, it is a staple to eat this time of year, which is why I added turkeys into Minecraft. And now I'm gonna have to survive 100 days against three pilgrims who are trying to turn me into a turkey dinner. Will my turkey powers be enough to survive, or will I get gobbled up before day 100? On day one, I spawned in as a baby turkey chick. Oh, look how cute I am. But I'm also tiny and only have seven hearts. And that's a massive problem because these three pilgrims want to eat me. And the second I leave this little flower patch, they're allowed to do that. But luckily, I can get more than seven hearts later through my upgrade menu, where I can literally become the Turkinator, whatever that is. Okay, here we go. We're gonna have to run from them. And run! Get out! Get him! Oh god, they're coming. I'm throwing spoons! Oh god, those are knives raining at me! Okay, quick down here. Oh, there's another portal. Go for that. Oh, this could be really good. Oh, they're hitting me. Get back here, turkey. Okay, quick, right here. He's trying to hit the nether portal. Grab the chest. I got the obsidian. Okay, hold on. They're coming. Oh, there's an axe. There's an axe. Oh, God. Woo! Gosh. Okay, let's swim this way. I got an idea. Oh, dude, I'm on fire. Okay, go this way. Go this way. Ooh, one's close. One's close. One's close. Let's loop around this way. I got to get a block. Ooh, this gives me an idea. Ooh, we got by them. Yes. Ooh! Okay, we're small. Let's use that to our advantage. Let's quickly get some dirt. There we go. We got two pieces. We just need like a couple more. Oh God, my health is getting low. There we go. We got three pieces. Oh. oh okay. Oh, one of them just died. <laughs> oh my gosh! What? I tried to hit him when he jumped out, and I killed you. That's my chance. Oh, they killed each other. Wait, what just happened? Okay, either way, they're all dead. Oh, but they're coming back. Okay, let's light this portal up. I got an idea. We're gonna go in the portal, and I'm gonna light a bunch of fires on the outside. So they have to catch fire if they want to come out. Okay, one's dead. Two's dead. Third one's here now. Yes, they're all dead again. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's just dive and let them think we're still in there. But we're not. We escaped. I don't think they saw. Please think I'm still in the nether. They're going through the nether portal. Yes. Oh no, he sees me. Okay, I need some food. Get over here. Okay, it's been a little while and no one's come for me, so I think I'm actually safe. So I'm gonna take this chance to just run and get out of here. Hey everyone, sorry for interrupting the video, but I have to tell you that our holiday merch launch has officially dropped. And my favorite item is this warden hoodie that we made. It has this sick design on the sleeves, so you know I'm gonna be wearing this all winter long. So head to ragairocky.store right now or scan the QR code on screen to check out the warden hoodie and all our other holiday merch. Make sure you order soon though if you want it in time for the holidays, because once these sell out, they're gone forever. So what are you waiting for? Scan that QR code on screen or head to ragairocky.store right now. Okay, now that I've gotten super far away from spawn, I want to start upgrading my turkey. You see, I have this ability menu with combat upgrades, utility upgrades, and evolution upgrades. And apparently today's menu, which is me. So to prevent that and live till day 100, I need these upgrades. And I want to start with this combat upgrade first. It's basically a diamond sword that also has a lunge ability. And it's really easy to unlock. I just need to equip iron armor, kill a player with a bow, and kill a player with a sword. Now it's already nighttime, but since I don't have a bed, I might as well keep working on this. Now let's make a cobblestone pickaxe. And now we can use this to get all the iron we need. Okay, let's grab a bunch of this iron right here. Now let's put that on our crafting table and quickly make some furnaces. Now let's melt our iron here and some food here. And now that we have an iron, let's quickly make ourselves a shield. And now let's go grab some more iron while that's all smelting. Okay, our food's done and our iron's done. Now we'll throw the rest of the iron into smelt and we'll have enough to make full iron armor and an iron sword, meaning the only thing left we need is a bow and some arrows. And since it's still nighttime, let's go kill a bunch of skeletons and collect some arrows and see if we can find some string along the way. Ooh, perfect. I just found a mine shaft, which means there's cobwebs, which means easy string. There we go, I got three string, but I don't have an iron pickaxe for that diamond. Okay, here's a skeleton. Let's kill him for his arrows. There we go, we got an arrow. Okay, we got 10 arrows. That should definitely be plenty. And it's probably daytime right now, which means we gotta go finish that iron helmet and then go get some kills on some pilgrims. Okay, let's make that helmet and let's make ourselves a bow. And now we're good to go get some pilgrim kills. Let's grab our furnaces and our crafting table and let's go. Okay, spawn is literally just up ahead. In the last couple videos, they've lived at spawn and I knew it, there they are. Look at these pilgrims just enjoying a feast. A feast that I'm putting an end to. Okay, I need a kill with a sword. Let's get our kill with a sword first and we get the kill with the bow while we're trying to retreat. Quick, find this. No way that worked. Oh, did he see? Oh, this Thanksgiving turkey. feast is missing a turkey, dude. Dude, it actually is. I'm thinking we, uh, we, wait. Dude, the turkey's here. He's behind our barrels, bro. Let's get our sword kill. He saw me. God, being short makes it so hard to hit. Oh, we got him. Nice. We got the sword kill. Let's go this way. And. Oh, we're low. Chicken. Oh, no. There's a chicken in his way. Oh, we got him with the bow. Let's go. Oh, we're low. Oh, I'm on half heart. 
I may have to go back to that nether. I may have to go back to that nether. Oh, they're on my tail. I was like, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a punch jump. <laughs> no, no, you killed me. <laughs> oh, one of them just fell. One of them just fell. They were trying to boost each other. Oh, you still got one on our tail. I got an idea though. Okay, let's get under these trees. They don't see me right now. They don't see me right now. No way. Go, go this way. I actually can't find. Yeah, he disappears, dude. Whatever. We should let him grow out anyway. He's not gonna be a delicious turkey. Yeah. He's like a tiny baby. Okay, let's just go this way. Oh, yes, they're going back to their base. We got away. Let's go. And with our first quest done, we can actually ditch this iron sword completely because we now have the turkey claw, which works like a diamond sword. And so turkey claw is actually a really cool power. But turkey claw's second ability is that it can do this. <laughs> Oh god, I'm in trouble. Oh! Okay, that almost killed me. But yeah, I can lunge forward wherever I'm looking. Super useful. And it's gonna be really good for getting away. Anyway, now we gotta go make a base because it's gonna be really hard to get all these upgrades without storage and stuff. So let's get that done real quick. After completing the first upgrade, I went ahead and fleshed out my first turkey base. I wanted it to kind of be like a bird's nest, but it turns out that this was a really bad idea. Okay, welcome to our base. I made a giant turkey nest, you know, because I'm, I'm a turkey chick. I, I probably grew up in a nest. So I took a bunch of hay bales from a village, took a bed, got a bunch of wood, and here you go. This is the turkey nest. Okay, enough gobbling on about the base. Because we gotta unlock our second ability. You see, we already have turkey claw, which is a combat ability. Meaning we need to either unlock a utility ability or an evolution ability. And I really want to get flap your wings, which is a utility ability. So that's what we're gonna do. Because this ability allows me to shoot out a gust of wind and send people flying back. And send myself flying back. You'll see what I mean. Now to get it, I need 20 feathers and 10 pistons. And since the piston ingredients are pretty easy to get, let's start there. Now to make a piston, you need three wood, four cobblestone, one iron, and one redstone. Then we look at our chest. We definitely have enough iron. We definitely have enough redstone. We definitely have enough wood and we definitely have enough cobblestone. Meaning just like that, we can get our 10 pistons that we need. So with the pistons complete, we literally just need 20 feathers. Chicken spotted. Okay, we've got 14 feathers, which is pretty good. But the sun's starting to set. So let's go to sleep and we'll just gather more tomorrow. Okay, it's day nine. Let's grab some extra food and let's go get more feathers. Okay, we officially have to Oh! Oh! Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh! We have 20 feathers, which is all we need to do this upgrade. But oh my goodness. Hold on, they're on my tail. We need to get to a safe place. Oh, he's on my tail. Grass is... Oh my god. Jump. Let's get under this tree right here. Oh, go. I'm so tiny they can't hit me. Oh, I hit him hard. Oh! Oh! Let's get into this one and let's quickly unlock flap your wings. Okay, I've unlocked it. This is gonna come in handy, I have a feeling. Oh, he found me! Okay, hold on. Let's try flap your wings and see if we can flap him into this ravine. Ready? Oh, we got him! What has happened? Whoa! Okay, he's stuck in a ravine. Let's go! Wait a minute, is that launching me? Can I do this? Oh my goodness, I can. Look at this. I can go backwards up the tree. We juked him. He has no idea where I went. Oh, yes, he does. Okay, let's go this way. They're looking for me and they can't find me anywhere. They're going that way. I'm going to go this way and get out of here. Okay, day 10. Now, normally I would keep working on abilities, but there's something I want to get ahead on. You see, my first turkey upgrade turns me into a teenage turkey. And it requires a bunch of crops, which means I want a bunch of bone meal to grow those crops. And I want to get that bone meal from bone blocks in the nether, meaning I need a nether portal. So let's quickly make ourselves a diamond pickaxe and let's go get ourselves some obsidian. Okay, let's put down our water bucket and make a bunch of obsidian. And, and now let's just mine 10 of it. Okay, we've got the 10 obsidian. Now let's go build that nether portal. I added the nether portal to the base. You just have to go down the water right here and you end up on a little staircase that leads to the nether portal. And now we can go to the nether. Okay, it's day 11 and it is time to stop being a cute baby turkey chick. And so it is time to become the teenage turkey, which requires 32 carrots, 32 potatoes, 32 wheat, and a golden apple. Now the crops are pretty easy. There's a village nearby. I'm just gonna go there and steal all the crops. And then I'm gonna go build some farms over there. And then with some bone blocks from the nether, we can finish this upgrade pretty quick. So let's first go grab some crops. Okay, let's see what these guys got. Okay, we've got a bunch of potatoes, carrots, and wheat seeds. So now we just have to go back to our base and make a quick little farm. Okay, let's put a bunch of dirt down. Now let's till it all. Okay, all the crops are officially planted. So now let's head to the nether and get some bone blocks. Okay, bone blocks spotted. We need to go that way. Okay, perfect. We found some bone blocks. Let's grab them. And with 26 bone blocks, that gives us almost four stacks of bone meal, which will be more than enough. Okay, it's day 12, and we got some crops to grow. With just under 90 days left, we cannot be overly cautious in trying to get these upgrades done quickly. So let's quickly grow all these crops. And now let's collect them. And just like that, we just need some wheat and potatoes, and we'll be done with this pretty quickly. So let's put down four potatoes, grow them, and now we have enough potatoes. Now let's do the same for the wheat. 
And just like that, we have all the wheat, carrots, and potatoes that we need to do the next upgrade. Which means once we get one golden apple, we can go from a baby turkey chick into a teenage turkey in no time. Okay, so here's the deal. Since we need a golden apple, we're gonna have to go looking for either desert temples, mob spawners, or abandoned mine shafts. And since there's a desert actually not too far from here, I'm gonna head there first and go looking for a golden apple. Oh, let's go. We found a temple. Okay, there is a temple in this desert. That's gonna make life easy. Please have a golden apple inside. Oh, good. Golden apple. No, no. No, dang it. Okay, this pyramid did not have a golden apple. Okay, it's whatever. We're just gonna have to get out of here and keep looking elsewhere. Oh, okay, cool. I'll take a desert village. Give me the hay bales. Oh, there's a temple in this village. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Oh, please have a golden apple. I was just coming to loot this village. Oh, let's go. Yes, first chest is a golden apple. Oh, let's go. Any of the others? No. No. Oh! Surprise, turkey! Whoa! Oh, you really just went down there, huh? Oh, 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 oh goodness! Oh, no! Okay, I killed one. Oh, my God. The pilgrims just showed up. Hold on. I have an idea. <laughs> He's, like, trying to suffocate me. I need him to come down here. Okay, one of them's coming down. One of them's coming down. Yes. Have fun! Run! <laughs> yes, we blew it up! Let's go! We got one! Oh, he's coming down to fight me. Oh, I took fall damage. Ooh, ooh. We got him. He's low. He's trying to run. He's dead. Yes, we got them. Okay, we're alive. And we've got our golden apple so we can get out of here. Okay, we officially have everything we need to go from a tiny little baby turkey chick into a teenage turkey. Oh my God, I look amazing. Look me. That was a teenage turkey. You're gonna notice I have 15 hearts of health. But on top of that, I also get strength one and speed one. So yeah, I'm a pretty buff turkey. But with this upgrade complete, it's time to work on Gobble Gobble. Now you might be asking yourself, what is Gobble Gobble? Well, Gobble Gobble is an ability that when I use it, it sends players flying away and gives them weakness and slowness. Combine that with my turkey claw and my wind attack and this teenage turkey is unstoppable. Or I hope so anyway. Okay, so let's start by doing the easiest part of this quest, which is to eat 30 food. Now luckily we have 18 rotten flesh. So when I get hungry, if I eat this, it's gonna give me the hunger effect, making me more hungry, eating more rotten flesh. You get the idea. Okay, so let's eat some of this rotten flesh and let's drown ourselves so we take some damage too. And with this carrot, we've officially eaten 30 pieces of food today and that makes the first quest complete. Now we only have two more to do, which is to get four kills with our claw and disable four shields with an ax. But we'll worry about that tomorrow. Okay, all we gotta do is head back to spawn, quickly go get these kills and shield disables that we need and then we'll quickly run back here and another upgrade complete. I hope it goes that easy. Okay, we're at the spawn base, but I don't see anyone. I think they left. Yeah, all their stuff's gone. They moved bases. Okay, so it's not gonna be as simple as I thought. I guess instead, let's go look for their base because those chicken pilgrims decided to run. And so I went searching for the pilgrim's base everywhere. Except there was one major issue. I couldn't find it. And that's because it turns out that the pilgrims had been living underneath my base this entire time. Okay, let's quickly cook up some food. Okay, once this food's done cooking, we'll go back on the search for the pilgrim's base. We'll just wait for this to quickly be done. There we go. Let's go find those pilgrims. Wait, wait. Oh, the pilgrims found me! All right, I see him. Oh, dude, he's a big turkey now. He's a big turkey. They're here! I want him to go through the main part of my base. They built a bridge. Try to hit him down. No! <laughs> okay, we got one kill. Break this bridge quick. Oh, oh, we fell. We fell. No, that's not the time to fall. They're gonna take my stuff. <laughs> I'm going through your chest. Oh, gosh. Okay, we got a second one. One more to go. Oh, wait, what are you doing back? They have beds nearby. They've got to have beds nearby. He just spawned really close. I gotta find out what direction they're coming in from. Back here, back here, back here. Oh, there's two on me. They're both dead. They're coming in from this way. Oh, there's one towering. Much safer. I like it. He's climbing up to you. He's climbing up to you. No, my stuff. My stuff. My stuff. No, he jumped down. No. Okay, my base is toast. They blew my base. They were coming from this direction. I got to find their beds. I got to find their beds. Oh, I see him. I see him. I see him. He just came out of the water. Is there something down here? I see magma. Down here, maybe? A ladder. I see a ladder. Oh, no. Nice, we got the beds. Oh, he let me on fire. Now he's spawning. Nice. Okay, there's two more. They're gonna come over here and fight me for sure. Cool, get the fire off. Eat some food. Oh, here they come. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go up here. Let's go up here. He thinks I'm running, but I'm not. I'm here to fight you, baby. Oh, no. I don't run. Okay, that's two down. One to go. The other one's gonna be here soon. Let's just hide in the wall and wait for him to enter. Oh, he's coming in. He's coming in. We're gonna sneak attack him. Ready? Oh, oh no. he's stuck up on me. What can he do? 
Oh, that's what he can do. Oh, he died. Oh, God. Oh, oh he's right on me. Shut up, guys. What? Dude, I was trying to get away. He literally died over there. Okay, well, GG's. They destroyed my base. It's with my base destroyed. I'm back to square one with no items, except what I have in my inventory. So before we go ahead and finish up this combat upgrade, let's get a new base. So with the base destroyed, I spend the next few days getting a new one made. And this time, it hopefully doesn't get destroyed. Welcome to the turkey base 2.0. Let me give you a quick tour of this base. Furnaces, bed, chests. This is the entrance and exit. And this is the emergency exit and way down to our nether portal. So now that you've seen the base, let's go with the emergency exit and I'll tell you what we're going to do from here. Okay, so we still need to disable 20 shields if we want to get the next upgrade. Okay, with the new base complete, let's go and let's finish up the combat upgrade gobble gobble. We literally just need to disable 20 shields with this axe. And that's exactly what I plan to do. Now the thing is, it's only been a few days since my base has been destroyed. But I also took out the pilgrim's base, meaning they also had to make a new one. But because it's only been like four days, there is no way their base is that far. So let's get looking for it real quick. And sure enough, I was right. Their base wasn't far at all. They just made their base in a nearby mangrove biome. The worst biome in the game. Oh, is this a mangrove? I hate mangroves. Oh, oh my God. I see their names through the wall. This is their base. I was just talking about how I hated mangroves. They built their base in the mangrove. Okay, careful. I see two of their names through this wall right now. Well, the thing is I have to break their shield, so I kind of have to get their attention. So let's go in loud and proud. <laughs> FBI, open up. I'm breaking in. Oh, oh my god, he's here! The chicken's here! Now shield! Yes, okay, we got one of the shield breaks! He's running? No, leave me alone! Oh, he broke it twice! He's almost dead. You gotta be almost dead, right? Oh, there's magma! Oh, we got him, we got him! Oh! He's running, he's running. He's gonna shield. Let him shield, let him shield. Oh, it's broken again! He's shielding. Nice, five shield breaks. Well, he's in the water. Let's go back in and let's fight the others. He's trying to block me in! Oh! Oh! Oh, he critted me. Okay, I crit you then. Oh, he run behind me. We gotta go this way. We gotta go this way. Oh! There's the turkey in the pond. I'm holding my shield. I'm holding my shield. Oh! Oh, we got 10 shield breaks. Okay, let's back off. Let's eat some food. Oh, I'm low. Back off. Eat some food. Back off. Oh, they're backing off. Oh, we're hurt. Okay, we can use our wind here. Ready? Oh, <laughs> dude, I can't get to it. Make him take a bunch of fall damage. And we can dodge them by flying ourselves. That did not work. Oh, one of them got up here. Okay, I'm blocking them in, blocking them out. I'm going into their base. Oh, I'm taking all your coal and iron, bunch of wood. Oh my God. Tons of wheat too. Ah! Dude, they always try and block at the beginning. Woo, woo, woo. We need to get out that door. Oh, we blocked him off. Bet I need to come back in. Bet I need to come back in. Whoop. Oh, we literally just need one more shield break. We got it. We just got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. Dude, they are guarding their beds. They do not want me to take their beds out. No! No! Oh, oh my god! Oh, okay, we got two of them. With that, I'm out of here. I found the way out. Yes, let's go. And we are out of here. Let's go. We got all the shield breaks we need. Though my armor kind of took a beating. But it's worth it because we can now unlock Gobble Gobble, which you know I got to try. Okay, Mr. Chicken, you're getting Gobble Gobbled. And now because I did that, this chicken has weakness and slowness. Anyway, with that complete, I realized in that fight, the three pilgrims are definitely still stronger than me because it's well a 3v1. So next, let's work on Cornucopia because I have a gut feeling that this one's gonna get me the strongest, the fastest, because when I use it, it drops three random items with one of those items potentially being ancient debris. So we need to unlock this. 10 coal, 10 iron, 10 gold, 10 lapis, 10 redstone, 10 emeralds, and 10 diamonds. Let's get mining. Okay, cool. That was super easy. So now let's unlock Cornucopia and let's try this thing out. So if I right click it, I get three random items. So that time I got a pork chop, an apple. Let's try again. 
Ooh, that time we got an ender pearl and a chicken. Ooh, TNT and an emerald. Ooh, we got a chicken, a golden apple, and I'm not sure what the other thing was. But this ability is amazing. I can basically just keep rolling for random items. And there's literally no cost except for energy. Anyway, from here, it's time to become an adult turkey. Because in that fight the other day, I did almost die quite a few times. And to unlock it, we need 20 emeralds, 64 feathers, and nine phantom membranes. That's the hard part. So from here on out, no more sleeping. Because that's the only way to get phantoms to spawn. So let's start by going and mining some emeralds at a nearby mountain. Okay, we've got all the emeralds we need. So now let's just go kill a bunch of chickens because we literally need 64 feathers to do this upgrade. Sorry, chickens. Okay, we've got all the feathers that we're going to need. Meaning the last thing we need to get is nine phantom membranes. And I haven't been sleeping. So tonight we are gonna hunt some phantoms and get some of those membranes. Okay, we're on the surface and there's already two phantoms and three zombies. Yeah, two phantom membranes. Oh, more phantoms. Good one. Yeah, we got six phantom membranes, but the sun's coming out. Okay, well, the sun's rising, meaning that's all the membranes we're gonna get. So for tonight, we got six. Okay, it's day 38, and we've gotta wait for tonight to actually get more phantom membranes. So in the meantime, I wanna build an enchanting table. So let's go down to the mine real quick and get some obsidian. Ow. Why did you take damage? Ah! Whoa! The pilgrims are at my base. I have ender pearls on me. Okay, let's ender pearl over here. I have an idea. I have an idea. We're off the other waterway. Dude, he has diamonds. Look up behind you. Oh no! Okay, I killed one. I killed one. Oh, were they shooting me with guns? Oh, he has a gun. Yeah, he has a gun. Oh, God. Okay, that should kill him. Oh, he fell. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, we got him. We're low, though. We're low, though. We're low, though. Okay, I hit him once. I hit him once. Oh, he's coming back down. He's coming back down. Hold on. Oh. We got him down again. Please. Oh, Oh! I made it. He, no, he's good. He's good. He's coming back up. He's coming back up. He's loading. Okay, I got some more arrows. I got some more arrows. Ah! No! Oh, and I killed him! Let's go! The pilgrims found my base, but it didn't seem like they were able to take much, and the base is completely unharmed, so we're gonna keep it for now. And now we're gonna go build an enchanting table. Okay, enchanting table's done. And it's definitely night by now, so let's go hunt some phantoms. Bring it on, boys! And there we go, nine phantom membranes, which is all I need so I can finally go back to sleep. So with all the phantom membranes, emeralds, and feathers in hand, I was ready to become an adult turkey. Twitter, I'm even bigger. Okay, that's actually cool. I'm huge. What about you? Do I fit out my emergency exit anymore? Okay, I mean, kind of. I mean, no, I kind of get stuck. So the emergency exit's no longer an emergency exit. Besides that, this upgrade is great. I not only have 25 hearts now, but I also have strength two, speed two, and the newest addition, slow falling one. So now whenever I fall, I slow fall instead. So you know this ability is gonna be helpful. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly fix up the emergency exit so I still, you know, fit. Don't call me fat. Gosh. Okay, there's 60 days remaining and since we won our last fight, things are looking pretty good. Though I won't lie, those guns did almost take me out. And because I almost died, I need another combat upgrade. Specifically my own gun. And so the next upgrade is perfect because I can unlock a double barrel shotgun. And to unlock it's actually pretty hard though. If we would please move our attention to the upper left corner of the screen. I have to kill two pilgrims with fall damage. Kill two pilgrims with an axe. Kill two pilgrims while they burn. Get 50 creeper kills. And get 50 blaze kills. So yeah, the blazes and creepers isn't hard, but the player kills are kind of oddly specific and I feel like they're going to be difficult, but I can try. So I'm going to start by getting the creeper kills simply because I don't really want to get burned a million times by blazes right now. So let's just go get 50 creeper kills. <laughs> Okay, with the creeper kills out of the way, let's go back to the base, and now let's go get the 50 blaze kills we need. Oh, I can't say I'm very excited to do this. Okay, we're in the nether. We just gotta find ourselves a nether fortress, but shouldn't be overly difficult. There we go, all 50 blaze kills done. Now let's get the guy out of here, because this was an annoying one. Okay, there's only three more quests we have to complete till we unlock our own double barrel shotgun. But we have to go into this with a plan because I need fall damage kills, kills with an ax, and kills while they burn. So you know I'm bringing flint and steel. You know I'm bringing lava buckets and a ton of cobblestone. Oh, and I need new armor. So let's quickly make that. Okay, we've got our gear slightly enchanted. I've got two flint and steel and three empty buckets that I'm gonna fill with lava. And now let's go build a base that we can easily get some fall damage kills from. Okay, the mangrove biome is literally just below me and this is the area that they live in. So right over here, away from water, I'm going to start building a massive fall damage trap. 
Okay, this should definitely be enough height. Now we're gonna build this out like a square. Okay, now that the square's done, we're gonna add outer walls that will protect us from falling off. Okay, my fall damage trap is ready. So now we just gotta wait for the pilgrims to see me. Oh, I think I see someone. Oh, I do, I see someone. There's a little dot down there. They definitely see it. Oh yeah, they see it. Oh, oh, right, I forgot, they have guns. Okay, I'm taking my water away. Go ahead, try and build up. One's trying to swim up and that's not gonna work. Okay, one of them's coming up now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, will that work? Oh, I just fell. Oh, I fell. Okay, we're good. We're going back up. Okay, we got one of the fall damage kills with our bow. Who they're shooting me. Come on, get back up. Yes. Okay, we're good. Come on, please get him. No, he cut the water. Okay, he took away the water. There's no way for them to get up right now. Is that going to get him? I'm dead. Yes, okay, we got the fall damage kills. Okay, they're not doing much damage right now, but they're surrounding me. Okay, one's going down. No. Okay, he's done. He's done. He's done. We still need lot. We still need fire kills and axe kills. Oh, I just got to hit down. Oh, we're falling. We're falling. Okay, that's the end of that. Okay, let's work on getting some axe kills. I've got some ender pearls, so let's do this. Okay, let's get this axe kill. Ready? Oh, no! Fall damage! Dang it, I needed the axe kill. There's one right in front of me. Why is he running? I mean, okay. That's fine with me. I don't, I don't have to fight you. You're the one who has to kill me. Okay, let's get him. Oh, we already got him with the axe. Let's go. That's one. We need one more. We're actually really strong with this thing. He can't shield, he can't shield. <laughs> yes, okay, we get the X kills. We just need to kill them while they're on fire. Let's grab some flint and steel and let's get our lava buckets ready. Oh, one's here. Let him burn to death. He's back on fire. Oh, yes, we got him. Okay, there's one fire kill. Okay, we're good. Okay, they're on fire, they're on fire. Oh, they're putting it out, they're putting it out. Okay, I need to move, I need to move, I need to move. Oh, we put it out again, but I got rid of his thing. We gotta set Permore on fire. He's low. He's on fire. He's on fire. He's on fire. They're both low. They're definitely both low. That may cook him. I think he's burning in there. There's too much fire in here. <laughs> he's burning down the whole forest. No! Yes, okay, we got him. We got all the achievements done. Oh, I'm getting out of here, dude. I am almost out of like everything. Okay, all the quests are complete, meaning we can now unlock our gun. This is my turkey double barrel shotgun. It has two kinds of ammo, blaze powder, which shoots at a medium range, and gunpowder, which shoots at a short range. So to use this thing, we need to blaze powder and gunpowder. And luckily, because all the blaze and creeper killing we had to do, we have plenty of ammo. So let's try it out. First, we have the spread shot. And then this is the slug shot. Amazing. I can finally get my revenge on them since they have all the cool range weapons. But overall, I'm glad the turns have tabled. But now it's time to get back to business because I want to upgrade my turkey to have a netherite beak, which is going to allow me to mine veins with a single click and double all ores I mine. I double everything I get. And to unlock it's not that hard. I just need 500 cobblestone, 10 netherite scraps, which I already have six of from my cornucopia, an enchanted diamond pickaxe, an enchanted diamond shovel, and an enchanted diamond axe, all of which are easy. Let's just quickly mine 500 cobblestone cobblestone because that's the first thing on the agenda now how much do we already have cobblestone wise okay we currently have 384 cobblestone so let's quickly buy the rest okay there we go cobblestone done well i'm gonna keep using this cornucopia to try and get more netherite scrap and from here we're gonna go ahead and work on the diamond tools now luckily i already have a diamond pickaxe so let's just enchant this bad boy with efficiency one then we're also gonna enchant my axe with unbreaking one now we enchant the diamond shovel with efficiency one as well. And with that complete, all we need is some netherite scrap, which I haven't gotten any from the cornucopia. So I guess we're gonna have to go mining for ancient debris. Okay, let's make our way back to our base because we have six netherite scraps plus our four ancient debris. And that's all we need. Okay, let's pop these in the blast furnace. And there we go, 10 netherite scraps. And now we have our netherite beak, which is actually an ability in our hand. But let me show you how it works. So if I go up to this copper right here and right click it, you're gonna see it mines the entire vein of copper and it doubles everything it drops. I'm gonna go mine for some diamonds real quick so I can finish up my diamond armor. Base and finish this armor. Now let's enchant them. And there we go, full diamond armor. Welcome to day 50. Too much? Anyway, it is currently day 50, meaning we are halfway to day 100. And the best part is we only have six more upgrades to go. Now next, I wanna get one that, uh, well, I'll let it speak for itself, literally. I wanna unlock Presidential Pardon. And to unlock it, I need to get eight shotgun kills. I need to get eight shotgun kills on pilgrims. I've gotta use a totem of undying and I have to become the hero of a village. So this one's actually kind of interesting. I have to go get Bad Omen and then enter a village and defeat a raid, which is totally doable. So let's quickly head to a pillager tower till we get Bad Omen. Okay. 
Okay, here's the pillager tower. We need to find a pillager with a banner. We need to kill them so more spawn. There we go. There's a bannerman. There we go. We got bad omen. Let's go. Bad omen unlocked. Okay, now that we have bad omen, let's go find an innocent village and start a raid. That sounds awful. Okay, now we're gonna go enter this village and hopefully get a totem of undying. Let the raid begin. Okay, the next wave's coming. Okay, see another pillager. Okay, more raiders coming from this way. Let's just quickly take them out. Oh, yes, one of these spawns. Give me the totem. Yes, we got the totem. Okay, now let's take a big and ugly. Okay, next wave. Oh, I do not expect them to all spawn on me like that. We got another wave. Oh, goodness. Here we go. Another one dead. He was hiding in a village house. And we're now the hero of the village. Let's go! And now that we have two totems of undying, let's put one on. And now we just gotta go ahead and let the totem of undying activate. So while the fireworks go off, let's go sit in this fountain and drown. There we go, the totem is activated. And now the only quest we have left to do is to get eight pilgrim kills with our shotgun. Okay, I just found this abandoned nether portal and the chest was already looted. And I know I didn't loot this one. So I'm guessing their base could be either here hidden in the water or it's somewhere up in these cliffs. Oh my God, I see one of them in the village and I can see a glass dome. So their base isn't in the mountain I was looking in. It's across the way, but I was close. I knew they looted that nether portal. Let's start going in. We need shotgun kills. Oh, I see all of them. They're all like outside on this side. Please don't see me. Okay, one of them's coming. One of them's coming. I see him. He's getting close. Loot? I think there may be a turkey. Oh afoot. my God, there's a turkey. Yeah, they see me. They see me. They see me. Okay, let's switch to a slug. We should be able to snipe them up there, I think. Oh, no, no, it's out of our range. Their rifles definitely have more range, so I've got to play this close range game. Okay, I see one of them over the side here. Let's get him. I'm three-shotting them. 360 no-scope. Yeah, I'm hitting these 360 yeah, like it's nothing. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's get this one. Two hits, and then I got a shotgun them. That's the rule. Okay, they're all coming this way. They're all coming this way. We don't want to go that way. We don't want to go that way if they're all going that way. Two hits on him. Nice, we got him. Okay, he's dead. Okay, he's done. That's gonna give us some space. We got one shotgun kill right now. There we go! Two shotgun kills! Three! That's four, baby! Nice, we got another one. Five. That's six. That's seven! Let's go! That's all the shotgun kills we need! Okay, let's get out of here! Let's use our flaps to get across the river fast. Ready for this? Look at that! Let's go! We're gone! Okay, with the shotgun kills done, we can unlock Presidential Pardon, which is literally a picture of Obama. No, I'm, I'm not kidding. It's literally Obama's face. Now, let me show you what this does. If I sit in this water, I'm gonna slowly start to drown. But luckily, with Presidential Pardon, that's not gonna happen. You see, Obama here works like a totem of undying. And remember earlier when I said, well, I'll let it speak for itself. Literally. Well, I mean it. We're about to hear some good old advice from our good friend Obama. We'll probably pardon another turkey we we do that every thanksgiving that's right he pardoned another turkey we literally get to hear obama's voice thanks obama now we just gotta wait a cool down period till obama will talk to us again okay now they showed that off it's time to unlock the giant gobbler which is our next turkey evolution to get it is actually really easy i need 128 iron ingots 64 eggs and nine strength potions i already have most of the iron that i need but i still need a little more so let's quickly go mining for that Okay, now let's melt up this iron. And there we go, we have enough iron. Now we just need 64 eggs and nine strength potions. And luckily, I know my potions. They're really easy to make. So let's go to bed and we'll start working on the potions tomorrow. Okay, so first things first, we gotta go get ourselves some nether warts. Okay, here we go. Here's a bunch of nether warts. And now we need to go grab some blaze rods and blaze powder for both shotgun ammo and to make some brewing stands. Okay, we've got some blaze rods and some more blaze powder. So let's go ahead and let's get out of here. Now let's quickly make three brewing stands. Now we're gonna add a blaze powder to each one. Now let's grab some sand and let's get it smelting. Okay, let's turn this glass into glass bottles and now fill it with water and now we're gonna place all our water bottles inside of our brewing stands now we're gonna add one nether wart to each and now we're gonna add a blaze powder to each and just like that we should have three potions of strength if my memory is serving me right there we go potions of strength and if we look at the upgrade we officially have the strength potions complete meaning the last thing we need well is a bunch of eggs i guess from here we're just gonna start collecting eggs we got one. We got We got two. We're finally done. That took way too long. Oh my goodness. I just honestly should have started a chicken egg farm because oh my God, walking around and just collecting eggs is the most boring thing I've ever done in Minecraft ever. And I'm never doing that again. Anyway, let's quickly run back to the base because with these eggs, we can actually turn into the next upgrade, which is called the giant gobbler. We just got to go grab our iron. Okay, we've officially got all the iron. So now it's time to say goodbye to the regular old turkey and into the giant gobbler. Look how big I am. I'm like two and a half blocks tall. 
tall. But look at my hearts. I have 35 hearts. And on top of it, I have strength three, speed three, jump two. And of course, I still have slow falling. But there's still one more upgrade to go. And that's the Turkinator. But before we do that, there is still one more tier four upgrade to unlock. And that is stuffing. Basically, it's an infinite food that I can eat that makes me really overpowered. Let me read my document to you so you get what this does. <clears throat> Stuffing is an infinite food that's gonna give me resistance for slowness two. I take no knockback. Every hit I deal is critical. And I gain 10 temporary hearts for 30 seconds. Oh, and it only has a one minute cooldown. This food is OP. But we gotta unlock it. And to do that, we need 64 potatoes, 64 carrots, 64 raw chicken, and a slowness potion. Anyway, let's go to sleep and start unlocking stuffing tomorrow. Okay, so for stuffing, we need to get a slowness potion. Now, I already have the water bottles and the nether warts I need. The only thing I'm really missing is a spider eye, a brown mushroom, Mushroom and some sugar cane, but our sugar cane problem has been solved already. Now let's grab a brown mushroom from this giant mushroom. Okay, right, here it comes one. Give me a spider eye, and there we go. We got a spider eye. Let's combine that all together, and we get our fermented spider eye. Now let's add three water bottles to a brewing stand. Add some nether warts. Add some sugar, and then add your fermented spider eye. And now we have our slowness potions. Okay, we officially have the slowness potions we need to unlock stuffing. Now let's get ourselves some potato and carrots. Okay, so let's see what crops are left at this place. We got some carrots and some carrots. Let's go find a different village that I didn't already loot and actually get the crops we need. Okay, here we go. This village has some crops. Okay, we've got the basics. Now just go grow a bunch more carrots and potatoes with bone blocks. Okay, let's go get some bone blocks over here. Okay, I think that should be enough bone meal. Okay, now let's replant all the potatoes and all the carrots. And now let's grow these crops. Okay, here we go. We're about to get 64 carrots and done. Now we just need 64 potatoes. And now we're done with potatoes, which means the last thing we need is a boatload of raw chicken. So let's get killing a bunch of chickens. Oh, pilgrims are here. There's the turkey. Wait, you found him? Oh, I don't have enough chicken yet, though. Do I have a shield on me? Oh, I don't have a shield on me. Oh, I could be in trouble here. We're going to play aggressive. Oh, fire's not what I want to deal with. We need water. Dive in the water, dive in the water, dive in the water. Okay, if they try to jump at me, I got the shotgun. Okay, send them flying back. Without my shield, this is hard. Ah! Oh, our health is getting low. Oh, they're out of my range. Okay, run to the base. Run to the base. Okay, one just died. One just died. Oh, no, he sees me. Okay, you know what? I'm just diving. I'm diving. I'm diving. I'm low, low, low. If they come in my base, it's fine. We'll kill them in there. We'll kill them in there. If anyone comes in, they're going to die. Yeah, well, it turns out no one came in. Okay, it's been like seven to ten minutes or something like that, and they haven't come in yet. So I don't know where they are and why they're not coming in, but I'm not going to lie. I know they're still up there. Question is, where are they? I see their names. They're coming back. Is the entrance down? Oh, yeah, I see his name tag. Just distract him. I'll place down the TNT. They're definitely coming back. Oh, they're getting close to the entrance. Here we go. Get ready. We're going to have to slug them. Oh, they're coming in. Oh! I blew up his enchanting area. No, 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 no. TT! No, they're blowing up my base! They literally just took out the whole base. Okay, one's down. I got one down. Okay, I picked up some stuff. He's gotta be low. We got him! We got him. Turkey! No! The other one's falling. And he's done! Yes! Okay, we survived! But our base definitely did not. Let's quickly see what we can recover item-wise. Okay, I was able to recover a bunch of my items into these chests over here. So luckily, some of my stuff survived. But regardless of that, we definitely have to go to a new base. From day 66 to 71, I built the turkey base 3.0. I unlocked stuffing during this time, which is actually a really OP ability, by the way. It gives me an infinite food called stuffing that I can eat every one minute. And when I do, I get resistance 4, slowness 2, anti-knockback, automatic critical hits, and 10 temporary hearts. Yeah. Welcome to the Gobble HQ. This base is insane. And by insane, I mean insanely ugly. I tried to make it look like a turkey. I don't think I did a good job. Let me know what you'd rate this out of 10 in the comment section below. Anyway, this base has all the essentials I need, which is going to be important because there's only three upgrades to go. We have the last turkey upgrade, the Turkinator, the last combat upgrade, don't touch the turkey, and the last utility upgrade, turkey run. Now, a bunch of these items that we need for these last three upgrades, we can only get in the end. So let's head to the nether and start by getting some blaze rods. There we go. We've got the eight blaze rods we need. Now let's go get ourselves some ender pearls from a bastion. Okay, we're at a bastion. Now let's go ahead and just find some gold blocks real quick. Here we go. Gold block located. And we got a ton of gold ingots in here. I prefer blocks, but these will do. Okay, this just has two gold blocks in it and some more gold ingots. Okay, there we go. We get 16 gold blocks, which definitely should be enough. So let's go trap some piglins real quick. Okay, we've got four piglins trapped in the hole. Now let's trade our gold over. Okay, looks like they're all done trading. Let me just quickly murder them. And in total, we got 15 ender pearls. I, I want 16, but if I keep using the cornucopia, I'm probably gonna get a 16. Please let this work right here. Oh my god, it did! No way! You can't make that up. I just right-clicked it. Out of pure luck, I just got an ender pearl from the cornucopia. What are the odds? Okay, so let's go ahead and make ourselves some eyes of ender. And now we just gotta find out where this portal is. So let's give it a toss. 
Okay, looks like we're going this way. Let's go find that nether portal. Okay, we finally found an island. After traveling like 2,000 blocks of ocean, we're here. Oh, did that just go straight? No way. No way. Is that going straight down? Oh, no, it went this way. Oh, my God. No, it is close. It is close because that went back the other way. But it's got to be like right around here, right? Here, let's just start digging down. Okay, we found a cave. <gasps> there's stone brick right here. Oh, there's stone brick. Oh, my God. It's everywhere. We're here. We're at the stronghold. Wait, what? The pilgrims are guarding the portal? Are you kidding me? Yeah, shoot him. Yeah. Take that, turkey. I didn't even see their achievement to get in here. Get okay, Ow, what was that? Oh, it's corn. Oh, it's, it's corn. They have corn mines. Let's see if we can get him to chase us. Because I can't get to that portal with them. Let's run. Let's run. Let's run. Wait, he's running. I'm going to chase him. I think I can kill him, bro. Okay, let's just get down here. Okay, there's two down here. Okay, let's go this way. Now let's go up and around them. I think he's just down this way, right? Okay, it's down this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're here. We're here. Ready? This way. Jump over this. We're here. Let's go. We got it. Oh, I think he's going to that under portal. How do you make it in? Okay, I need to get here quick before they come through that portal. I have an idea. Let's get some blocks and let's just build up. There we go. We're in. Let's start taking out the end crystals. Oh, here they come. There we go. I took out all the crystals. Okay, they're doing a lot of damage to it, though. Okay, let's pick this up real quick. Okay, we just got a bunch of bottles of dragon's breath. Okay, put a wall up so I can't be shot right now. One, okay, one of them just died to the dragon. I just smacked the ender dragon. <gasps> I'm dead. Let's just damage this dragon for now and get him nice and low. More dragon's breath. Let's grab all this. There we go. We got 28 bottles. That's enough. Okay, let's see if we can get this guy off this tower quick. I do not want them to get this final kill. He doesn't seem to coming. He doesn't seem to coming. Oh, he water bucketed. No. Oh, they're all three back. They must have a bed nearby. Hey, okay, dragon's moving. He's perching. We can't let him get it. He's too low. He's too low. They're going to get it. No, he's going to kill the dragon. He's going to kill the dragon. I killed him. I killed him. Okay, we need to get that egg. I'm on him. Get the egg. Get the egg. They put corn mines everywhere. I got to be careful. I teleported it. Okay. No, he's taking it. He's taking it. He's taking it. No. He took it. He's the egg. I got it. Get it. We got one. We got him. We got him. Oh, no way, dude. They took the dragon egg. And so I went to the outer end to get both Elytra and the dragon egg. But it turns out I corrupted my footage. So my whole adventure in the outer end, it's gone. Anyway, I got the Elytra and the dragon head, and you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Okay, and we are home, and it's day 80. Now, the footage corrupted in the outer end, so you didn't get to see it. But we do have both the dragon head and the Elytra. And so let's quickly look at our upgrades. To become the last turkey, we need that dragon egg back from the pilgrims. So we'll worry about that later. But the last utility upgrade we just need another star and nine disc fragments and for the last combat upgrade i need to kill a wither and since two of those things require killing a wither let's do it so we have to go to another fortress and quickly get three wither skulls Okay, we've got the three wither skeleton skulls that we need to summon this wither. So now let's go back to the base and let's fight him. Okay, let's spawn the wither in right here. Oh, the wither's easy. Let's go. He's done. We got our wither kill complete and we officially have our nether star, which means all we need left for the turkey run ability is nine disc fragments. I spent days 83 and 84 just looking for an ancient city. Oh, here it is. I found the ancient city. It's right there. I can see it. Let's just collect nine disc fragments real quick and then we'll be able to leave this place. I do not want to summon the warden if I don't have to. Let's go. We get two disc fragments. Okay, nothing else in here I really need. There's another one over here, but oh, that is a a lot of sound, boys. And I don't know if I can break them all in time. Let's go for it. No, no disc fragments. Run. Oh, oh this one has four. We just need three more disc fragments. This one's got two. Oh, we're one short. Let's try this chest. Okay, it's empty. Let's try this one. Okay, we got three. We got three. We have all of them we need. Now let's get the heck out of here because I hate this place. Dave, 86. We're back home and we have everything we need to unlock Turkey Run. So let's grab the Elytra and the Nether Star and let's unlock our last utility upgrade. And of course, we got to try it out. Let me show you what this does. If I hit numpad three, I basically just travel in a straight line and it uses up a ton of energy. Because a slow fall, it's basically just like moving straight. So if I need to get away from somewhere in a pinch, that's the best way to do it. Or if I have to get somewhere really fast, you get what I'm saying. Now with that unlocked, there's only two upgrades to go. We have Don't Touch the Turkey, which we just need player kills and chicken kills. And then there's the Turkinator, where we literally just need our dragon egg back. And you know, I do want our dragon egg back. So we're gonna go fly over there and get it back. Since my new Turkey HQ was so far away from spawn, it took two whole days just to reach the Pilgrim's Desert base. Okay, Obama, are you ready? Just ahead is their base. And there's no going back. We got to get this dragon egg or we may not even be able to get fully upgraded, which would be kind of annoying. So let's quickly fly over there. Oh, he may have seen me. He probably heard the flapping noise. Okay, I got to find that. Oh, he sees me. Oh my God, I see the turkey. I see the turkey. Oh, they're shooting me. Okay, I'm going down here. Look, the dragon egg is above a bunch of cactuses. I need to take these cactuses out so they don't destroy it. Just take all the cactuses around quick. I'm just going to keep breaking them around. Oh, he's he's breaking the uh, cactuses so the egg doesn't despawn. Okay, I'm, I'm getting up on the lip of the thing so that I can, it'll literally be like shooting turkey in a barrel. I mean, it should work. Hold on. Come on, dragon egg, come on. Yes, I see it. I got it. Did I get the egg? I got the dragon egg. Whoa, we're getting out of here. Oh, he's on fire. Nice, we got him. That's one kill. Okay, I got the stuffing out. Let's eat it. Okay, we gained a lot of hearts. Now let's quickly fly away. Now we get auto crits while we're in this. So let's quickly go down. Nice, there we go. Oh, look at all these crits. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. He melted me. Nice, we got two of them. Oh, we got all three. Dude, the stuffing ability is broken. We still need to get six more kills. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Let's get him. Let's get him. Nice. Okay, there's another one coming in. Let's eat stuffing. It was a trap. So I could crit you a lot. Yes. He's running. He's running. He's running. No, sir. 
Nice, we got him. We need one more kill. Oh my god, he flew to He's, our base. Yeah, he flew to our base. Oh, his shield's gone. We got him. No, shield we're we're coming. Nice, we got all the kills we need. Wait, can I plow through this with the chicken run ability? Oh, that's easy. I could have just done that before. Well, we got everything we need, so let's just go ahead and let's get out of here. Okay, with that fight complete, we can now become the Turkinator. Oh my god, look at me. I'm a turkey with sunglasses on. But if you look, I now have 50 total hearts of HP, strength 4, speed 4, jump 4, and I can fly like I have Elytra. And with that complete, that leaves us with only one more ability, and that is don't touch the turkey. And we just need to get 150 chicken kills for it, so, uh, I'm sorry, chicken friends. I'm gonna do what I have- Okay, we officially have all the chicken kills, meaning we can unlock the last upgrade, don't touch the turkey, which basically if anything decides to hurt me after I use this, well, this is what happens. Attack me, attack me. Yes! Okay, the skeleton attacked me, it's gonna summon a bunch of turkeys that are now going to attack the skeleton, sort of like in Legend of Zelda with the chickens. So with that ability unlocked, we are a fully upgraded turkey. And now my goal is simply to survive until day 100, so I'm just gonna wait here until the pilgrims arrive. I waited at the base for days 95 through 97, and the pilgrims never showed up, and with only a couple days remaining till day 100, I knew they had to be planning something huge. Oh, I see them. They're behind me. I just saw one clip through the trees. Oh, what is that? They're summoning withers. Oh my god, there's two. Why come for me? They summoned you, not me. No, my face. No. Oh, I'm being double attacked. I gotta take, I gotta worry about the wither first. I gotta worry about the wither first. Oh, I'm taking so much damage here. I can need a golden apple. Okay, no, no, it's backfiring a little bit. Okay, one of them's coming down. I can kill one of them here. Okay, one's dead. I killed one. I killed one. I killed one. Oh, we gotta eat a golden apple. Okay, we're gonna kill the second one. Oh, God. I'm out of arrows. That's a problem. That's a massive problem. Oh, my health is below one bar. We need to run. We need to run. He's running. He's running. He's running. He is running. Okay, we've definitely gotten away for now. I know the pilgrims aren't gonna be far behind. So let's just worry about healing up for right now and just getting as far away as possible. Okay, I found a village. This is gonna be my village until day 100. I don't know if the pilgrims are gonna be able to find me here, but just in case, I need somewhere to call my home base. So, so this is gonna be it. Now, just to keep a lookout to see if they start coming. Because if they show up, I gotta be ready to fight. I just realized all my armor is about to break too. This could be really bad. Like really, really bad. Because without armor, I could get killed super easy. No, I don't see anyone yet. Oh, I see one. I see one. I see one. I see one. He's on the other side of the village. I just gotta survive. I don't have to go to them. I'm just an innocent little turkey. I don't see him in here. I oh, he literally jump scared me. Get him, turkeys. I got little turkeys attacking you, man. You're done. He has a bunch of little baby turkey things, dude. I don't know what these things are. Get him, turkeys. Oh, I'm being shot by someone else. Oh, yeah, the others are here. Okay, let's get back here and eat some food. Oh, my armor's starting to break. My armor's starting to break. Oh, my God. They're doing five hearts of damage every hit. My armor breaking is really bad. This is really bad. Oh, my health is so low. My health is so low. It's got to be one shot, right? Oh, I'm up there with him. Ha-ha. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we popped them. We'll probably pardon Oh! We, we do that every Thanksgiving. Okay, Obama just pardoned me. I would have just died there. Okay, we're almost back at full HP. Nice, we got one. Okay, two left, two left, two left. Unless they have beds nearby, which I don't know if they do. Okay, let's eat our food. Let's eat the good food. Okay, we have slowness too, but we have all crits now. Come on, we're so slow, we can't catch up to him. Our slowness went away, meaning all our strength is gone. Okay, let's go this way quick. Oh, he's back! Okay, let's go up here. He definitely came from this way. They have beds over here somewhere. Oh, I see a bed. It's right in front of me. Oh, our health is getting low again. Let's destroy that bed. Come on. Okay, we got the bed. We got the bed. We got the bed. It's turning tonight. We only gotta survive like 10 more minutes. Okay, this is the one whose bed I took. If I kill him, he's out of the fight. He's gotta be low. He's gotta be low. He's done! He's out of the fight! We got one out of the fight. No. Oh, no. What? We only got 10 more shots on our on our fire shotgun. Let's eat some stuffing. Nice. Our health is back up. Nice. We got him. We got him. We got him. Oh, we got the net. We got another one. Oh, here they come. Okay, here's the others. We're low. We're low. We're low. We're low. Back off. Ooh, we're really low. Yes. Okay, we got him. There's only two left, it looks like. It looks like the bed I took out was Rex's. Let's just see if we can take out their beds. I found one of their beds up here for sure. The sun is coming up. Oh, no. Oh, he's running. Oh, we got him! The sun's rising. Hold on. We're just gonna fly away. We're gonna fly away. We gotta take this win. Now let's watch the sunrise. Is it day 100? I don't see him coming in. Day 100! Yes! I survived until day 100! They failed to kill me, which means the turkey wins! Thanks for watching! <laughs>